Skrillex's record company got hold of us. Um, they had seen two music videos I co-directed with Ninja from The Unfort, and they liked the videos and asked me to come up with the treatment for Agobar. Yeah, the brief they had was they wanted something dark and dancey. So we sent them a treatment that they really liked. I think quite a few other people treated on the video. And um, the, only, the only feedback I had from Sonny was that he wanted to include, like he has, in all his videos he has a theme of youth. So he wanted us to include more like young people in the video. So that's why we added quite a few like younger dancers. The video was shot in Johannesburg. Um, we shot in Alexandra, um, Hillbra, and the CBD downtown. I think with music videos in general, whether they're local or international, the budget is always a big challenge. Um, the idea, our idea, was definitely much bigger than the budget we had. So um, we're really lucky to get favors from our suppliers and crew. I think um, people were really excited about the project and wanted to help out. The track is very, it's got like a, um, a, a rawness to it and almost like an aggressive, very aggressive energy. So it was really important that the dancing matched the energy of the track. And, um, I really wanted the dancing to have a distinctly kind of South African township feel to it. So we had a lot of castings and um, it was actually quite difficult finding the dancers we ended up with because like although the dancers were all really good, they, they didn't seem to like, the, the energy didn't seem to match. So when we did see the dancers we cast, I think that was the main reason we cast them is that they had that kind of aggressive, really raw energy because like there was a real rawness to the dancing in the video. The Pantula crew is called the Shakers and Movers and it actually was really, um, it took us a long time to find them. We saw a lot of different Pantula crews but they didn't seem to have that like aggression and energy that we wanted for the track. So um, when I finally found the Shakers and Movers, they just stood out immediately. Like the, there's actually two people in the crew which is Mada and Prince and then they brought on the third guy to Boko for the video. The one dancer, Prince, um, since shooting the video has been diagnosed with cancer and um, he's responding well to the treatment but he still needs a lot of support so um, there's a Facebook group you can go to which is called Dancing for Prints and if you go to the Facebook group there's different ways you can help out. I think um, Skrillex has such a huge fan base. I always knew the video would be big, but um, I guess we never expected the kind of... It's, 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 it's made a really big impact here in South Africa, obviously because of the content and the fact that it's shot here. So I think that was the most exciting for us. Um, I think there's so much South Africa has to offer and that we have to show the world, and it was really amazing to be given the opportunity to do that.